Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. But today we're gonna be uh, working on my wiper uh, assembly system. So we're gonna be taking out the wiper uh, assembly, cleaning it, lubricating everything and all that, and making sure that the, the four most important water drains are unclogged and there's nothing blocking the drainage and uh so here's the story about the wipers right it was when i whenever when i got this car the wipers actually were not working and there were some wires that were actually like broken i think from like previous owners pulling the on the wires themselves and you know not actually disconnecting the connector properly so i'll have to fix that and uh, another thing is uh, if you have issues with your wiper uh, assembly in general, uh, look at this uh, relay. So what happens is inside of this relay, there's actually, you can take it apart. It's a little bit of a pain, but you can take it apart. Uh, there's actually like a couple of relays inside and like the contact points get corroded. So they need cleaning and all that. And there's also a wiring schematic that you can find to troubleshoot. But most of the time, all the problems related to the wipers uh, on these W140s is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be the culprit for that. This is uh, literally the wiper reel. It sits on top of the fuse box uh, under the under the hood. So look for that. And you know, it's a good idea to just have a couple spares just in case, all right? So I'm starting to get to the wiper assembly. Already removed the wiper arms. And now I remove this plastic cover. There's a bunch of debris and garbage here. And I'll have to replace that cabin filter as well. So there's quite a bit of work that I have to do here. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, look at all this debris and garbage. That's crazy. This cabin filter is trashed out. I'll be replacing that. Wow, a bunch of stuff. I need to clean it all out. Well, I have to take out this whole wiper assembly because I want to clean it, lubricate it, and reinstall it back to make sure that everything is good. So I'm gonna do that, and at the same time, I will clean all this debris and leaves and everything here. There's a bunch of that garbage here, as you can see, everywhere. So that's why I'm doing this. All right, so we have a bunch of parts and plastics here, and uh, I'm in the middle of cleaning everything up. This side is already like cleaned up and nice. You know, unfortunately it's a sad thing, you know, the windshield is like starting to delaminate right here. But it is what it is, you know, everything else is fine. There's no issues with the windshield otherwise. Um, and then I'll check these four drains. There's one drain, two, three, and then four in the other corner. And all of them are draining, which is amazing. They're not clogged up. Uh, I was going to take this whole thing out, but it's actually quite a bit of a task to do. And I wasn't planning on that. So uh, I'm gonna clean up as much as possible here. There's still some debris here and there, but that doesn't really matter so much. The most important thing is that those four drains are good and they're not blocked off. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna continue working on that side and then we're almost done with cleaning and prepping the area. All right, so everything here is cleaned up and I sprayed fluid film all the way where this metal part is where the windshield attaches to okay and the wiper assembly I opened up the cover simply pops up and I lubricated the, the shafts and all the sliding points and also removed this uh, uh, motor cover and added more grease to that as well and just in general like cleaning everything up here all right guys so the uh, wiper assembly and motor everything is installed here all the bolts everything tightened up nice and good so for this part you can also check your vacuum extruder for the recirculation door so i'll go ahead and pump the vacuum it's probably gonna leak because i have to hold it right here because this hose is a little loose so I'm gonna try to do it. So there you go, I have the vacuum pumped up. It's not leaking, the actuator is good. Perfect. 
perfect. All right, so these plastics right here just drying up. I'm getting ready to install those. They're pretty much dry. And uh, yeah, everything else is looking amazing. I'm just gonna have to order this filter. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this other cover out for now until I get a new filter. Alright guys, so now I'm going to be working on this uh, wiring harness. Okay, so when I got the car, this was actually disconnected because somebody was probably trying to disconnect it and then they pulled on all this, on all these wires and they just broke off and, you know, they just left it like this. So I have a new connector, another connector that I'll just, I'm going to go ahead and um, it's going to be easier for me just to, you know, cut it and splice it in uh, and... Yeah, I have another relay right there, just in case. And um, other than that, I'm pretty excited. Everything in this area looks really clean. I'm just missing some hardware, so I have to order a couple, uh, you know, some more hardware because it was initially missing, uh, which sucks. So I'm gonna have to wait for that, and I'll order the filter as well. So just a couple things here and there, but she's coming along. So I'm gonna activate the wipers. So the first position isn't working for some reason. But then when I put it to the second position, second position is working. And third position, or like the fastest speed. Okay, it's working. And now when I click it all the way to off, uh, it parks, okay? And then when I click the washer fluid, so the washer fluid isn't spraying, but I'll have to figure that out. I don't, I don't hear the pump working for the washer fluid, uh, but this is working. So uh, I have to find the right diagram and troubleshoot why this, you know, intermittent position is not working, but there's the second position, the third position are working, which is good. And you know, the wiper assembly parks as it should. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and install the wiper uh arms right now one of them is still drying up right there after i applied the bumper and trim paint on it so it's going to be nice and amazing at the end and i have new wiper blades for it as well all right so this is the wiper uh, relay and as you can see I did some repairs to it all right I had a couple of wires and then I just transferred these two wires because they were okay just transfer them to the new connector that I had and then these the red and yellow uh, they're gonna actually disconnect it just so you remember this connector goes to the wiper assembly uh, and motor um, so yeah so I just fixed these two wires and then I'm gonna wrap it all nicely and I also applied liquid electrical tape so nothing is ever gonna get corroded here everything is gonna be awesome well, this is not good. I mean, I kind of expected it. It's uh, not aligned, so I guess I have to take it all out and uh, like move this thing this way. All right, well, the wiper is out again and I'll be messing with it right now, trying to adjust it. So it sits basically like this, not like this when it's parked. So yeah, I'll you know, unfortunately, I should have done it earlier, but I didn't realize that. I should have thought of that, but it is what it is. I just want to make it good and functional and just like from the factory. So I have to loosen this nut, lift up this a little bit, and then adjust it and install the nut back. So it's a 19 millimeter. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know why exactly it's 
you know, it's not parked the right way. Maybe somebody was messing with it. It's kind of hard to say, but that's what I'm assuming. But we're going to make it work. So I have this set up like this. And let's see what it's going to do. Just carefully. Let's see. Oh, somebody has to hold that. It's going all over the place, but it's kind of how I'm going to be testing it before installing it back. So make sure that you have some kind of cardboard here and that you're not putting it on something like fragile. And I'm being really careful with this uh, because this is quite a bit heavy. W140 big tank. But uh, so when I activate the wipers, uh, they do work as they should. But when I park it, it just stays right here, which is not right. So I'm going to go ahead, adjust it and remove that nut on the backside. And I'm going to put this assembly like right here somewhere. Well, since I'm this far, I removed uh, this linkage off of the main wiper and then there's a c-clip i'm gonna pull this washer and i'm gonna push this out there's probably like gonna be a broke a couple of broken teeth on the plastic gear which is you know expected wow look at this this is like sheared off this, this is so dirty and good thing i pulled this off to clean all this that's crazy yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this gear yet. Because I kind of want to just put this car back together soon. Uh, but we'll see. This one has, I think, a few broken teeth. But I want to clean this really well right now. That's awesome. Good thing I pulled this apart, actually. Well, guys, so this gear right here, it's responsible for the swiping motion. For these mono wipers so this is not a mono wiper but on like w124 and 190e it's a mono wiper so this is also kind of like a mono wiper but w140 wiper assembly also has this second wiper right there on that side however this is still considered basically like a mono wiper and it has the swiping motion so it really really sucks this gear is totally messed up this however is all good i checked all the teeth actually and these teeth are totally fine, which I'm really happy about. I still have to finish cleaning it. But I need to order this new gear or this whole assembly. I think the new gear is available, so I'll try to order a new gear and replace that. Because this is, this is bad. This really sucks. So yeah, lack of lubrication, guys, you know, and all that. But imagine if they use, like, metal gears, metal and metal, uh, with a bunch of grease. I think it would never, ever go bad. Well... Uh, this repair is gonna be put on hold for right now. I'm just loosely installing these uh, You know plastic covers back without the wiper uh, Assembly and the wiper assembly is basically all cleaned up like I was telling you like these teeth are perfectly normal No broken teeth whatsoever. So I'm super happy about that and I have all the hardware collected put it in a separate bag and uh, right now uh, I have to order this gear uh, so I can replace it guys um, so that's gonna be my goal I'll replace it and then after that we're gonna we're gonna proceed to installation of this wiper assembly back and in the meantime I'm gonna order this cabin filter because this cabin filter is just filthy it's been here for probably like 10 years There you go, there's your broken gear. So just remember that the flat side, more of a flat side goes on top. And this side is facing the bottom. There's also a washer here, so don't lose the washer, okay? Keep an eye on that. It's literally like splined. So you shouldn't have to put any like glue or anything at all. So yep, this gear is totally trashed. Two teeth are broken, oh, one, two, actually four, four teeth are broken. So yeah. Make sure you check your uh, wipers and, you know, fix them and take them apart, lubricate them and all that good stuff. All right, guys, this is a couple days later. I have uh, a new wiper gear and I'm going to be installing that. All right, you can find them like at the local parts stores. You can find them online, eBay, doesn't matter. There's a bunch of them available. So that's awesome. Uh, and uh, also I got the cabin filter as well. So I'll be installing that. So 
we're gonna be hopefully wrapping up the wiper uh, system today and all these plastic pieces uh, so we'll see but I'm super excited to get this car back together right, new gear is gonna go on it's exactly same gear So this gear is going to go, this part, the bottom part right here is going to face down. So it literally goes like this. So I have to press this on. It's going to be a tight fit. Okay guys, the gear is installed. I'm going to go ahead, put a bunch of mm, grease here and start reinstalling all this stuff. So we added a bunch of grease to that gear. Now we're adding a bunch of grease to this plastic half moon gear inside. Be as clean as possible, guys. Make sure there's no dirt anywhere. I also realized that someone, whoever was previously messing with this, stripped the bolt hole, so there's some thread still in it but I'm gonna have to see if I can properly somehow uh, attach it right now but uh, yeah I noticed that this bracket was literally like loose so yeah, it really sucks all right well um, I'm just kind of on the time crunch so as a temporary solution I just put this Mercedes clip on there and it actually holds this bracket pretty well and I'm not worried about it it's not going anywhere there's still a bunch of support okay on this uh, wiper assembly or for this wiper assembly and this one is gonna hold just fine and then maybe in the future i will go ahead and actually you know drill and tap that bolt hole so we can install a different bolt on it because somebody previously was messing with it and stripped that okay so i have it carefully connected so we're gonna go ahead and activate it to make sure that she's working as she should and don't worry everything is on the cardboard so nothing is going to get damaged all right guys so what i think is i think i fixed it so the crazy part is somebody previously actually like loosened the motor too so that not on the motor was loose so actually i removed the motor and then i moved it a little bit this way so i'm going to show you how this operates right now um yeah let's go ahead and uh, look at it and i think this is gonna be pretty good uh from my point of view so i'm gonna activate it so look at it okay so it moves sweeps like that i think that's pretty good okay so i kind of put this plastic on just to see where this wiper would be and uh I think it's pretty good. I think it uh, it's gonna be pretty good and I'm not gonna try to make another adjustment. I'm gonna just install it like this and see how she is. All right guys, so as you remember when I first started working on this car, when I first got it, the windshield wipers were actually not like, they were, they were disconnected and the this wiring harness was like all like broken because somebody like ripped it out or whatever and today is finally the day for me to fix all that and um i'm actually almost done putting everything back together and i have one of the wipers already installed and i can show you really quick how it works i have to do a bunch of adjustments to make it perfect you know the motor was somebody was messing with the motor so they they messed up the adjustment and also like the adjustment of that actual uh the arm because that gear was actually broken so i had to redo the alignment on that as well uh but just mainly patience guys you know and with the patience you guys will be able to do a bunch of stuff and it's not that horrible actually so i'm gonna go ahead finish putting all that plastics back in and cabin filter and we're gonna check this uh operation of the wiper system so yes yeah, so these are the wires i'm gonna wrap them nicely um and yeah as you can see 
everything is back together i just have to put this cover on but this nut right there is all good holding all right so everything is awesome here i'm super super stoked to have my wipers back i just have to install that passenger side wiper and uh it's gonna be awesome all right guys so i have both of these uh wipers installed okay now uh, because my washer fluid is not spraying out i think it's just a bad pump i still have to uh, you know diagnose that but in the meantime i'm gonna spray some uh fluid on the windshield so it's not gonna be dry and we're gonna test these wipers and see how they work and you know the main thing what I'm, what I'm looking for is to make sure that they're not actually like uh hitting any like windshield frames or seals or any like anything like that and that they're all good so that's what i'm looking for mainly so let's go ahead and spray this side of the windshield i'm gonna test it in a second all right, guys, something that you need to um, remember about my car is the intermittent uh, wiper uh, function is not working at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to just uh, take this uh, wiper really apart and actually make sure that everything is clean. All the contacts are clean inside. And there's also a capacitor that can go bad inside of this uh uh, really so I have to do that uh, I'm more than sure that there's nothing wrong with the motor or anything like that but uh, my intermittent position is not working at the moment but my second position and third position are working so we're gonna do it uh, we're gonna test it out in a second here ready look at that isn't that amazing look at that and it parks where it's supposed to that's awesome amazing and uh, now let's look at this side really quick where does this wiper go okay it goes like all the way up here so that's that's pretty good and um, as you can see it's actually not hitting the strip or the the seal at all which is amazing that's great so I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, um, so I could probably use a little bit bigger uh, windshield wiper uh, for this side, but I'm pretty sure these are the right ones. These are brand new Bosch that I got. So yeah, uh, anyways, at, the, at this time, guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting everything back together. I have all these plastics back together. I have to install, install a bunch of bolts here and I have to you know, remove this uh, uh, cam filter and replace that. Here's the brand new filter we'll be installing. That's for the cabin filter. You can see how dirty that one is. So awesome. Installing brand new, amazing brand new filter. Beautiful. So this nut was missing so i found one and added to it it's just holding these two plastics in place this is all wrapped up nicely all right and i'm gonna install this back in its spot soon but at the moment i'm gonna keep it out because i'm probably gonna take it apart Amazing. Ooh, just amazing. So uh, I also added this little uh, drain hose. It's a brand new one. Uh, it's universal. Uh, the other one that was here was actually bad. It was not good looking. So I replaced it. And now I can go ahead and install this cover back. All right, guys, everything is reinstalled here. Now I'm ready to put this cover back on. There's gonna be a bunch of uh, Torx screws all the way around. And also there's gonna be one, two, and three uh, long bolts like these that I have to install.